Okay, then boom, another little picture, which is pretty dope on here. But boom, we're just gonna get right to the shoe. Okay, got that. Boom. Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic, and today we're gonna be doing an unboxing slash review video on the Grandma's Driveway, aka Fence Green Jordan 4RMs, the Nigel Sylvester one. So let's get right into this video. Drop a like, drop a sub, and hit the notification bell down below. So let's get right into this video. I'm not gonna waste on time, and yeah. All right, bet here's the box for them. It literally says on the top of the box, Bike Air. So if you've been uh, paying attention to the sneaker game uh, lately, these were going pretty crazy. I think like two months ago they came out. They were didn't actually release on sneakers app or anything. I'm pretty sure they loaded on the sneakers app for a little bit. I could be wrong on that, but then they took them off. But I could be wrong on that. I think they only dropped in one location in the whole United States, which was in like uh, New York, pretty sure. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. These are pretty exclusive. I don't really know how I was able to get my hands on them, but I got them. So yes, sir, uh, gravel on the bottom, kind of like representing like a street because the Nigel Sylvester, like the person who did the collab with Jordan on this shoe is a, B, uh, is a like pretty famous BMXer named Nigel. So yeah, pretty dope box. Uh, got a little gravel on the bottom, pretty dope. Hold on a sec though, I'm gonna take a sip of water though, y'all. All right, bet we're getting right back into this unboxing. So yeah, box looks pretty dope. I've been uh, waiting to open up these. I opened them up during, well, I unboxed them and during like one of my unboxing videos. So go check out on my channel. I think it's like unboxing a thousand dollars worth of sneakers. So go check out that video. And this was one of the shoes I was in the box. So this was probably the main, uh, like the main shoe that made it almost like that expensive because this right now on a size 10, it's going for around, it's going for some numbers. It's going around like mid to high 400s, but they went up like crazy. These were not going for that high like a couple months ago. They just shot up like crazy, like a SB4 type stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna unbox them though. I'm not gonna, you know, make y'all wait too long, but okay, right off the rip, it says go on the inside, but that's not the first thing I noticed. The first thing I noticed is this unboxing paper, which is super dope. I guess it's Nigel Sylvester when he was like young. I don't know if y'all can see that. The lighting's good, hopefully. But yeah, pretty dope unboxing paper, pretty dope box. I know there was another one that they made the uh, they like that was more of a GR like they you know it wasn't like a GR GR but they released on sneakers and like some Foot Lockers well most Foot Lockers the driveway grays I'm probably gonna pop those on the screen those actually like I don't know I like the green ones better but I'm just gonna have to see I haven't seen neither in hand so this is my first time seeing a pair of Jordan 4 RMs in hand so let's go ahead and unbox them hopefully that doesn't sound bad on the mic hold on y'all okay then boom another little picture which is pretty dope on here but boom we're just gonna get right to the shoe. Okay, got that. Boom, first look at these. I've not seen these in person. Honestly, I was not the biggest fan of these when I seen like early pictures of them, but I do like the bike air on the back. We gonna get into all that as it says bike air on the box top, but let's get into the shoe. This is a size 10 of them. Boom, these are the fence green, AK grandma's driveway. I like the grandma's driveway name a little bit better. So yeah, pretty dope pair of shoes. Size 10, really good size, pretty nice shoe. As you see, like a green, like suede around the whole shoe, pretty nice quality. Has that Nike swoosh and kind of like a silver colorway, yeah, silver colorway on the top of the, you know, shoe, which kind of makes it looks really dope. Uh, has like this like cool little, I don't know, this like is this, this is really different. I don't really know how they made this. This isn't this doesn't look like a Jordan Four at all, but I guess the bottom looks like a Jordan Four. But hold on one second, y'all. All right, y'all, we getting right back into this review. I had to pause real quick, but yeah, super dope pair. Let me smell the, see if it smells like a brand new shoe, which it should, because these are, these, I bought these brand new. Yep, definitely smell like a brand new shoe. Pretty nice, size 10, as I already said. I like how I like that little Jordan symbol, uh, symbol in the back. I made a video on the driveway grays not long ago, so go check out that video, but that was like, you know, before uh, they dropped on the sneakers app, I made that video. But yeah, pretty dope pair. It has that black paint on like the base freshly painted a little bit of a uh, factory iffiness on this side but it's okay pretty nice though definitely a good pair i definitely like these because it's just because the green i just love green it, it matches my shorts right now y'all probably can't see my shorts but really nice pair of shoes the inside it says his name nigel sylvester i don't know if y'all can see that in the inside y'all probably can't but in the inside it says nigel sylvester and apparently these are super comfortable and i'm feeling the inside right now and these definitely feel super comfortable because they're supposed to be like a bmx shoe so yeah but a lot of people are obviously wearing this as like a lifestyle shoe which usually that's how it goes like with sbs you know people um usually you know people that don't even skate wear sbs as a lifestyle lifestyle shoe which is me you know i used to skate though so you know you know i'm valid but uh anyways though pretty dope pair of shoes let me check out the other pair 
Okay, I bet we got both pairs out now of these. The other pair comes with the extra set of laces. So they come with these green laces, which is nice, which matches like the fence green color. And then on the back, I didn't even get to this, but yes, sir, look at that. That bike air hits like kind of like a Nike air. What is better, the bike air or the, Ni or the Nike air? Uh, I'm obviously gonna go with the Nike air, but the bike air goes pretty hard. Definitely something different because it's like a biker shoe. This goes hard, the bike air, the little small little baby pool tab, pretty nice. Uh, the suede on these is really nice, like really, really nice. Like I don't even want to touch them with my like hand oils type stuff, like because like, I don't know, super high quality uh, suede around this shoe that's on the toe box, all around the shoe. Then it has like this hard material, which I'm not the biggest fan of this, but it is, you know, something different. Uh, we have not seen a model like this. Like this shoe could literally be its own model, but they call it the Jordan 4 RMs. So yeah, I don't really like the GR RMs that's been coming out, but you know, the Nigel ones are pretty nice because it has the bike air on the back. So that makes it like a lot better than this. This this color is really nice too. But yeah, they're going for some crazy numbers right now. I'm probably gonna pop up market on these. Like these are going for some money right now, especially in like bigger sizes, like a size 12. But yeah, the padding around the shoe definitely feels super comfortable. So if you're wondering if this is a comfortable shoe, this is really comfortable just like all around. But yeah, uh, let me get on like the extra laces. Like what extra laces does this come with? Okay, it comes with some white extra laces and that's about it, some white laces. I feel like with the white laces might look good on here, like might look better than the green ones, honestly. But yeah, it says Nigel Sylvester on the, ooh, I thought it did. Oh, never mind, it doesn't, but <laughs> I thought it did. But yeah, you know, little white extra laces, nothing too crazy. Really nice shoe. Uh, I, like I wasn't expecting to get this pair, but they came across for a good little deal. So I copped them, but yeah, these are not my size. So if you do want a size 10 in these, you can hit me up on Instagram, but yeah. Definitely a dope shoe if you're wondering if this is a cop. I would say it's a cop, but it just depends if you really like them or not because the price is pretty high on there here right now. But yeah, we're just gonna see. I feel like they're gonna go up over time too because there's just not many of them out there, honestly. But yeah, really dope pair. Drop a like, drop a sub if you made it this far in this video. Um, let me see if there's any other details that I'm missing. Okay, the bottom, I didn't really um, talk about the bottom. The bottom's like all black with the red in, in, like inside right there, which is pretty different because there's really no red on this shoe, but I guess it matches like the bike air is red on the box. The box is really nice detail though. The box is like my favorite on this, like the, the cool gravel look. And then the inside has that cool, um, what's it called? The cool wrapping paper or whatever. Like that paper is really nice on the inside. Like it's literally him, I guess when he was little. But yeah, super dope pair of shoes. Let me see if there's any other details I'm missing real quick. Obviously it has the stars all over the toe box because this is a Jordan 4. All Jordan 4s have the stars on the top and well, like Air Forces too, but you know, full stars, looks nice. It's a fresh pair of shoes, really dope pair, really cool concept behind them. Let me know in the comments if you're copping or dropping these, but yeah, this, that's really much all the details on the shoe. I already kind of went over everything. Just, I don't know, really nice shoe, really simple, but really, really nice at the same time. I feel like these wouldn't be going for as much though, if they're more widely available, but that just, you know, makes sense. You know, when shoes are exclusive, they always go for more. But yeah, I think, uh, let me check if there's any other details and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Yeah, this model definitely looks weird though. I Like, let me show y'all a little up close look at these bike air on the back. Like, it looks very weird. It's like a low top. I don't know how to explain it. It's just super weird. I've not seen a model like these, but a lot of people are liking these. Like a lot of like celebrity type people are wearing these. I've seen a, a couple people say that they really like these. Like a lot of people actually. So I know a lot of people are, have mixed opinions about these. But yeah, it has the air bubble on here. Definitely a very comfortable shoe though. I can just tell it's pretty comfortable. I wish these were my size so I could at least try them on. But honestly, I would probably just keep them on ice and not even just keep them dead stock because this pair, if I had them in my size of 12 and a half in these, oh, that would be, I think these would be going for around, let me check market on them real quick. Yeah, if I had my size of 12 and a half, right now ask is $830. There's only two left, but last it was 500 bucks. So really they're realistically going for around 500 bucks and a 12 and a half, but in the size 10 right now, ask is 485, only 19 left on StockX. So this is pretty exclusive. Only 19 left on StockX listed, but we're not gonna really get into the market. I'm really just trying to do like an overview of the shoe, do a little review on it. But yeah, really nice shoe. I think I went over pretty much all the details, but dope, dope green on them. Honestly, like it's called a fence green, but I like the name Grandma's Driveway better because I'm pretty sure this is probably like, he's probably talking about, he probably used to BMX in his grandma's driveway. I could be wrong on that, but I feel like that's the story behind the shoe. And that's why he named them these. I could be wrong. Maybe that's where it started, where he started biking and stuff. But yeah, pretty dope shoe from a, it's a pretty dope guy behind the shoe too. So I think that's why a lot of people like them, but yeah. Nothing too, too crazy, but they're very simple, but pretty nice. Like I already said, I like that silver swoosh on them. 
bike air, air jordan on the tongue the nice bike air on the back i'm gonna show you all that one more time bike air on the back let me compare it to the nike air what's your what y'all taking a nike air or the bike air honestly it just depends what you like better but i feel like jordan fours regular jordan fours are obviously a lot better than these but it just depends i feel like these might be just as comfortable but i don't know the new jordan four um like the new model they're doing like the new i don't know what they call it like new shape they're doing on, on jordan fours is like really comfortable they're like replicated over the sp fours but these are pretty much like an sp4 type shoe because it's a bmx shoe so they're really comfortable i can just feel like the padding on the sides it feels like memory foam almost just really nice details really nice suede all over the shoe really dope but i think that's really all i had to talk about in this video so drop a like drop a sub let me put the shoe back real quick yeah i think that's all i had to um talk about with this shoe so drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell drop a comment below like i already said if you're copping or dropping into these and yeah honestly if you have these two drop in the comments because these are pretty rare like they did not even drop on sneakers app like i said so pretty crazy how limited these are i don't even know where you could at, where you could really get these unless you have like a plug but yeah really dope shoe i mean look like i can't like it has like this little like graph loco the little detail of um spot on here i don't even know how to explain it but that little like plasticky on like the mid is pretty dope this pretty dope shoe overall has a little like cool little shapes i don't really know how to explain it but yeah definitely something different we have not seen something like this recently so definitely like a different model looking at them really nice like how that little mini jordan logo hits on the back like i don't know if you can see it has like a graph like logo i don't know not logo but like graph like design all over the back you can you can't really see it unless you have them in hand or if i put them up close you can kind of see like that little you know i don't know how to explain it but yeah dope shoe dope model Drop a like, drop a sub. I think I'm gonna end the video off here. So yeah, peace.